I'll admit it. I'm one of those people that gets obsessed with something and then bores everybody to death talking about it. And right now I'm obsessed with creating good routines and habits. I'm almost finished with the book Atomic Habits by James Clear. If you've never read it, I highly recommend it. It can be life changing and it can really help you start and grow your business. But there's two specific stories in there he talked about or things he talked about that I want to share with you that I think can help you really get your business going. And one of those is going from motion to action. And I'm going to give you two keys that I think can help you do that. My name is Sherry from Rolling Acres Education. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is not your first time. And if you're thinking, what are you talking about going from motion to action? Well, motion is what we do when we're wanting to start a project or a new goal or a habit or start a new business. And we're wanting to do things that will help us, but we don't want to do things that are really going to commit us. And so we're talking about things like watching YouTube videos, reading blogs, reading books, uh, talking to people, consulting with people, getting information. And those are all good things, things we need to do. But there comes a point when we need to realize we're just kind of spinning our wheels and we actually need to start taking action. We can make ourselves get kind of comfortable, feeling like we're doing something because we're learning and planning, but we're not really making committed steps towards reaching that goal. And two things that you can do is to set a deadline and to make yourself accountable. For instance, if you are having trouble naming your store, which is the first thing you need to do, you need to name your store. And this can get really frustrating because it seems like either you have so many ideas you can't pick one, or you pick one and you find out it's taken because you have to check and make sure nobody else has taken it, watch videos about naming your store. And so you get bogged down and you may just have to either draw a name out of a hat or either just use your name and your subject. Remember, you can change it later. People do it all the time and no one's not going to buy your product because they don't like your name. So set a deadline, give yourself 24 hours. In 24 hours, I'm going to have a name. Make yourself accountable. Have somebody text you and ask you in 24 hours, what's your name? Okay. Make yourself accountable. Set a deadline, make yourself accountable. Then you need to open your store. This is not that big a deal. But you really, you know, can't open your store until you know your name because, I mean, you could just put your name, your actual name in there, but they ask for the name of your store. You need to put it in there. And at this time, you can upload banners and make your store real pretty, but you don't need to. So you need to name your store and then you can open your store. Again, I recommend a premium account. However, I'm willing to take a little step back and say that if you want to wait till you upload a product, I understand that, but set a deadline. I'm going to have my first product by a certain day and I'm going to get the premium account. Just my opinion. Number three, you need to pick a problem to solve or a person to serve. Now, this is where some people who give a lot of advice about teachers pay teachers may disagree with me and they're probably right. But I'm just going to tell you, it has worked for me to have a problem to solve instead of a person to serve. There's a lot out there about ideal customer avatars. Almost every online business you study tells you you need to have an ideal customer avatar. But I think a problem to solve kind of does the same thing. I ask pretty much the same questions about my product and I may not be the best seller out there, but just today, actually on this very day, I hit $2,000 and I am not quite at the eight month mark yet. So, you know, I'm sure that's not the best start in the world, but I think it's pretty good. And I'm at, I am obviously selling things and I don't have an ideal customer, but I think that I, that problem to solve has served me just as well. So I had a really hard time coming up with a, with an ideal customer avatar, but the problem to solve didn't have any problem. And I was able to get in and get going and create products, which is number four. After you've done that, which again, set a deadline, have somebody hold you accountable, start creating your products. And this is the other story I want to share. Uh, this college professor shared how he was teaching this photography class. He divided the class into two groups. One group, he said, you're going to um, concentrate on quality, quantity, quantity. And this group, you're going to concentrate on quality. 
This group, if you want an A, you have to have 100 pictures by the end of the class. And if you have 100 pictures, you'll get an A. This group, you're going to concentrate on quality. And you only have to turn in one picture, but if you want an A, it has to be almost perfect. So at the end of the class, um, he was surprised to find that the students who concentrated, concentrated on quality, quantity had mostly the best pictures. And he finally figured it was because those people actually got out and took pictures, whereas these people spent too much time sitting around talking about how to take good pictures, reading about how to take good pictures, what are the best lenses to use, did research and all this and spent so much time trying to learn how to take good pictures instead of just getting out and making those pictures. And so that's what I want you to do with your product. Yes, okay, get some general ideas, learn some things, get a good software program, and then just get in there and start doing it. That's what I did. Again, you can change all this stuff. Get it, do your best. To really, this is what I want to do, this is how I want to do it, but then if you get in and realize this is not what I want to do, that's okay, change it. My first products are nothing to have nothing to do with what I am actually doing now. So just get in there and get started and learn by doing. Now, when you go to upload your first product, remember you have to upload a freebie. Now, here's some advice that I didn't know when I did mine, but I think is excellent advice. And that is when you create your freebie, also create a paid product at the same time and upload that paid product right after that freebie. Because if someone, remember your freebie is advertisement. Don't just slap something up because it's free and you don't, you're not going to make any money off of it. No, go in there and create a very quality freebie that is going to be very similar to the other products you create so that if someone likes your freebie, they're going to come back and want a paid product and you want to make sure there's one there when they come back okay make them different enough that they'll want to buy the one when they already have the other but similar enough so that if they like one they'll like the other get that freebie and that paid product ready and upload them one right after the other and then learn how to list your products again just remember when you title that product, title it something that someone's going to type into the search bar. Don't look at like I don't do it like I do. Did don't do like I did and type in something like the perfect Halloween. No one's looking for that. Okay. Learn how to make good covers. Um, I don't have time to go into all that right now because I like to keep my videos less than 10 minutes. And the main point here is your objective for this video, and that is to get started by setting deadlines and holding yourself accountable okay name your store open your store by the premium account at least by the time you upload your products um, find your problem to solve or your person to serve create those first two products and then upload them and you will feel so amazed and relieved and you will have your teachers pay teacher store ready to go and you will be you'll read be wanting to do another one okay do another product do another product okay just set a deadline and hold yourself accountable and get that store going remember you've got this god's got you and i'll see you in the next video bye bye